I'm Jordan Bunch. I'm a student at ACU, and last summer I went to, um, to the Bronx, New York, to work with the missionary there. We went out on the streets and, and prayed with people and, and ate lunch with people there and just got to, got to know people and uh, talked about Jesus. I met Carlos on the campus of Lehman College in the Bronx. Uh, we, um, we met when we were playing basketball there together and just really got to know him and some of his friends. Carlos didn't know Jesus before, and so it was really great to get to share, to get to share some of my, um, my story of how Jesus impacted my life, and, um, and just to share about having a relationship uh, with God. I'm Frosty Sumner. I'm a retired Spanish teacher, and I've been to Honduras several times, just most recently last summer. On my trip to Honduras, I translate I translated for the doctors, the nurses, uh, pharmacy, and the optical clinic. The conditions in Honduras where we've been are pretty poor. Uh, the people are very poor. They cannot afford to go to doctors. And, and uh, the most memorable one I can think of is a little old lady that came in who could barely see. We checked her eyes, and she needed very strong correction. Gail Rose was able to find a very thick set of glasses and she put them on the lady and had the lady been a little younger she probably would have jumped for joy because she could see. My name is Bobby Lawson. Uh, I'm a physician here in town uh, at the Trauma Center at Hendrick Medical Center. Uh, I just went to Ghana, West Africa with a group of people from Southern Hills and uh, we were able to teach and evangelize and baptize 99 people while we were there. There was one young lady in particular that I remember, a young lady named Julia. Julia uh, was 21 years old she just had a baby two days before we were there, and uh, we came and talked to her about Jesus and proclaimed the gospel to her. She said she wanted to be baptized, but she didn't have anybody to look after her young child. I was able to convince her that since I was a physician, I would look after the baby while she went down to the river and was baptized, and our uh, Ghanaian evangelist that went with me was able to go and baptize her while I babysat the child. Because you supported Harvest Missions, Jesus used me to help people like Carlos. Because you gave to Harvest Sunday, God sent me to Honduras, and we made a difference in Maria's life. Because of your generous giving, uh, I was sent to Ghana, West Africa, where we were able to baptize this young lady into Christ. Please give generously to Harvest Missions on November 16th. Thanks.